GEM, for Graphics Environment Manager, was an operating environment created by Digital Research Dry for use with the DOS operating system on Intel 8088 and Motorola 68000 microprocessors. GEM is known primarily as the Graphical User Interface GUI, for the Atari Street series of computers, and was also supplied with a series of IBM PC-compatible computers from Amstrad. It was also available for the standard IBM PC, at a time when the 6 MHz IBM PC at and the very concept of a GUI was brand new. It was the core for a small number of DOS programs, the most notable being Ventura Publisher. It was ported to a number of other computers that previously lacked graphical interfaces, but never gained popularity on those platforms. Dry also produced X, Gem for their Flexos real-time operating system with adaptations for OS, 2 Presentation Manager and the X window system under preparation as well. Topic. History Topic. GSX GEM started life at DRY as a more general purpose graphics library known as GSX graphics system extension, written by a team led by Don Heiskell. Lee Lorenzen at Graphic Software Systems, Inc. who had recently left Xerox Park birthplace of the modern GUI wrote much of the code. GSX was essentially a dry specific implementation of the GKS graphics standard proposed in the late 1970s. GSX was intended to allow Dry to write graphics programs, charting, etc., for any of the platforms CP, M80, CP, M86, and MS DOS NECAPC3 would run on, a task that would otherwise require considerable effort to port due to the large differences in graphics hardware and concepts between the various systems of that era. GSX consisted of two parts, a selection of routines for common drawing operations, and the device drivers that are responsible for handling the actual output. The former was known as GDOS and the latter as GIOS, a play on the division of CP.M into machine-independent BDOS and machine-specific BIOS. GDOS was a selection of routines that handled the GKS drawing, while GIOS actually used the underlying hardware to produce the output. Topic. Known 8-bit device drivers DDFXLR7 Epson and Epson compatible printers DDFXLR8 Epson Low Res, 8 bit, DDFXHR8 Epson High Res, 8 bit, DDDMP1 Amstrad DMP1 Printer, aka Sakosha GP500M2, DDSHINWA Printers using Shinwa Industries Mechanism. DDHP 7470 DD7470 Hewlett Packard HP 7470 and compatible pen plotters, HP GL 2. DDMODE 0 Amstrad CPC screen in mode 0. DDMODE 1 Amstrad CPC screen in mode 1. DDMODE 2 Amstrad CPC screen in mode 2 DDSCREEN Amstrad PCW screen DD7220 Hewlett Packard HP 7220, HPGL 
DDGDCDDNCRDMVNEC Micro PD7220 DDGEN2 Retro Graphics Gen 2 Rat4 Source Code in Programmer's Guide DDHI 3M Houston Instrument Hiplot DMP DDHI 7M Houston Instrument Hiplot DMP DDMX80 Epson MX80 Plus GraphTrax Plus DDVRETVT100 Plus Retro Graphics Gen 2 aka 4027 4010 DDQX10 QX10 screen DDCITOHC ETO 8510A DDESP Electric Studio Light Pen Amstrad PCW DDOKI84 Oki Data Microline DDBBC0BBC Micro Screen in Mode 0 DDBBC1BBC Micro Screen in Mode 1 DDCITOLRC Ito 8510A Low Res DDTS 803 Televideo Screen Topic. Known 16-bit device drivers DDANADXM Anadex DP9501 and DP9001A DDCITOLRC ETO 8510A Low Res DDCNTXM Centronics 351, 352 and 353 DDDS 180 Data South DDIDSM IDS Monochrome DDLA 100 Deck DDLA 50 Deck DDOKI84 Oki Data Microline DDPMVP Printronics MVP DD3EPS NL IBM Epson FX80 Low Res Printer CDDFXLR7 and DDFXLR8 DD3EPS NH IBM Epson FX80 High Res Printer CDDFXHR8 DD75XHM1 Regni Centralin RC759 Pickling DDNECA PC NECA PC DDGSXM Metafile NCR PC 4 NCR Decision Mate V IBM BLMP 2 IBM BLMP 3 IBM CGA Monochrome Mode IBM BLCP 2 IBM BLCP 3 IBM CGA Color Mode IBM HP 743 Hewlett Packard 7470A, 7475A Plotter, CDDHP 7470 and DD7470 HERMONP 2 IBM HERP 3 Hercules Monochrome Graphics 720 348 Palette Polaroid camera the same driver binary may operate under both CP, M86 and DOS. Topic: Gem. Topic: Intel versions. GSX evolved into one part of what would later be known as GEM, which was an effort to build a full GUI system using the earlier GSX work as its basis. Originally known as Crystal as a play on an IBM project called Glass, the name was later changed to GEM. 
Under GEM, GSX became GEM VDI virtual device interface, responsible for basic graphics and drawing. VDI also added the ability to work with multiple fonts and added a selection of raster drawing commands to the formerly vector-only GKS-based drawing commands. VDI also added multiple viewports, a key addition for use with Windows. A new module, GEMAES Application Environment Services, provided the window management and UI elements, and GEM Desktop used both libraries in combination to provide a GUI. The 8086 version of the entire system was first demoed at the 1984 Comdex, and shipped as GEM, 1 on 28 February 1985. Topic. GEM 1 GEM Desktop 1.0 was released on 28 February 1985, GEM Desktop 1.1 was released in April 1985 with support for CGA and EGA displays. A version for the Apricot Computers F series, supporting 640 x 200 in up to 8 colors, was also available as GEM Desktop 1.2. DRI originally designed GEM for DOS so that it would check for and only run on IBM computers, and not PC compatibles like those from Compaq, as the company hoped to receive license fees from compatible makers. Developers reacted with what Byte described as a small explosion. It reported that at a dry hosted seminar in February 1985, more than half of the attendees agreed that GEM's incompatibility with Compaq was a serious limitation. Later that month the company removed the restriction. Applications that supported GEM included Lifetree Software's GEM Write. At this point, Apple Computer sued Dry in what would turn into a long dispute over the look and feel of the GEM 1 system, which was an almost direct copy of Macintosh with some elements bearing a closer resemblance to those in the earlier Lisa, available since January 1983. This eventually led to Dry being forced to change several basic features of the system. See also, Apple v. Digital Research. Apple would later go on to sue other companies for similar issues, including their copyright lawsuit against Microsoft and HP. In addition to printers the system also contained drivers for some more unusual devices such as the Polaroid Palette. Topic. GEM 2 Dry responded with the lawsuit-friendly GEM Desktop 2.0, released in March 1986, with support for VGA displays. It allowed the display of only two fixed windows on the desktop. Though other programs could do what they wished, changed the trash can icon, and removed the animations for things like opening and closing windows. It was otherwise similar to GEM, 1, but also included a number of bug fixes and cosmetic improvements. In 1988 Stuart Alsop II said that GEM was among several GUIs that have already been knocked out of the market by Apple, IBM, Microsoft, and others. Topic. GEM XM GEM XM with GEM Desktop 3.0 
was an updated version of GEM, 2 in 1986-1987 for DOS including DOS Plus which allowed task switching and the ability to run up to 10 GEM and DOS programs at once, swapping out to expanded memory XM through EMS, EEMS or to disk including RAM disks, thereby also allowing the use of extended memory. Data could be copied and pasted between applications through a clipboard with filter function a feature later also found in TaskMax under Dr. Doe's 6.0. Digital Research planned to offer GEMXM as an option to GEMDRAW Plus users and through OEM channels. The GEMXM source code is now freely available under the terms of new general public license. Topic. GEM, 3 The last retail release was GEM, 3 Desktop, released in November 1988, which had speed improvements and shipped with a number of basic applications. Commercial sales of GEM ended with GEM, 3. The source code was subsequently made available to a number of DRI's leading customers. Topic. GEM, 4 for CCP Artline GEM, 4, released in 1990, included the ability to work with Bezier curves, a feature still not commonly found outside the PostScript world. This version was produced specifically for Artline, a drawing program from the German company CCP Development GmbH. The system also included changes to the font management system, which made it incompatible with the likes of TimeWorks Publisher. Topic. GEM, 5 for GST TimeWorks Publisher Another version of GEM called GEM, 5 was produced by GST for TimeWorks Publisher 2.1. It contained an updated look with 3D buttons, along with features such as on-the-fly font scaling. It came complete with all the standard 3.1 tools. This version was produced from GEM 3.13 with only the Bezier handling taken from GEM 4. Topic. ViewMax for Dr. Dose GEM Desktop itself was spun off in 1990 as a product known as ViewMax which was used solely as a file management shell under Dr. DOS. In this form the system could not run other GEM programs. This led to a situation where a number of applications including ViewMax could exist all with their own statically linked copy of the GEM system. This scenario was actually rare, as few native GEM programs were published. In 1991 ViewMax 2 was released. In these forms GEM survived until Dry was purchased by Novell in June 1991 and all GEM development was cancelled. Throughout this time Dry had also been working on making the GEM system capable of multitasking. This started with X, GEM based on GEM, 1, but this required use of one of the multitasking CP, M based operating systems. Dry also produced X, GEM for their Flexos real-time operating system with adaptations for OS, 2 Presentation Manager and the X window system under preparation as well. Topic. Ventura Publisher Lee Lorenzen left soon after the release of GEM, 1, when it became clear that Dry had no strong interest in application development. 
He then joined with two other former Dry employees, Don Heiskell and John Meyer, to start Ventura Software. They developed Ventura Publisher, which was later marketed by Xerox and eventually by Corel, which would go on to be a very popular desktop publishing program for some time. Topic: Atari versions. Development of the production 68000 version of GEM began in September 1984, when Atari sent a team called the Monterey Group to digital research to begin work on porting GEM. Originally the plan was to run GEM on top of CP, M68K, both ostensibly ported to Motorola 68000 by Dry prior to the Saint design being created. In fact, these ports were unusable and would require considerable development. Digital Research also offered GEMDOS originally written as GEMDOS, a DOS-like operating system aimed to port GEM to different hardware platforms. It was available for 8086 and 68000 processors and had been adapted to the Apple Lisa 2 fifths and the Motorola VME-10 development system already. Atari eventually decided to give up on the existing CP, M68K code and instead port GEMDOS to the Atari Street platform, referring to it as TOS, as Atari had provided most of the development of the 68000 version, they were given full rights to continue developments without needing to reverse license it back to dry. As a result, the Apple Dry lawsuit did not apply to the Atari versions of GEM, and they were allowed to keep a more Mac-like UI. Over the next seven years, from 1985 to 1992, new versions of TOS were released with each new generation of the Saint line. Updates included support for more colors and higher resolutions in the raster side of the system, but remained generally similar to the original in terms of GKS support. In 1992 Atari released TOS 4, or Multitoes, along with their final computer system, the Falcon 030. In combination with Mint, TOS 4 allowed full multitasking support in GEM. Topic. Continued development When Caldera bought the remaining digital research assets from Novell on 23 July 1996, initial plans were to revive GEM and ViewMax technologies for a low-footprint user interface for OpenDOS in mobile applications as Caldera View, but these plans were abandoned by Caldera UK in favor of Dr. WebSpider and Grow. Caldera Thin Clients later known as Lineo, released the source to GEM and GEMXM under the terms of New General Public License GPL, in April 1999. The development of GEM for PC is continued as FreeGEM and OpenGEM. On the Atari Street platform, the original dry sources were ported again to be used in the free and open source TOS clone Emutos. New implementations of the AES portions of GEM have been implemented from scratch in the form of XAAES, and MYAES, both of which are fully re-entrant and support multitasking on top of the Freemont multitasking extensions to TOS. Topic. Description The full GEM system consisted of three main parts GEM VDI Virtual Device Interface GEM AES Application Environment Services 
Gem Desktop, an application providing drag and drop based file management. Gem VDI was the core graphics system of the overall Gem engine. It was responsible for low level drawing in the form of draw line from here to here. VDI included a resolution and coordinate independent set of vector drawing instructions which were called from applications through a fairly simple interface. TVDI also included environment information state, or context, current color, line thickness, output device, etc. These commands were then examined by GDOS, whose task it was to send the commands to the proper driver for actual rendering. For instance, if a particular GEM VDI environment was connected to the screen, the VDI instructions were then routed to the screen driver for drawing. Simply changing the environment to point to the printer was all that was needed in theory to print, dramatically reducing the developer workload. They formerly had to do printing by hand in all applications. GDOS was also responsible for loading up the drivers and any requested fonts when GEM was first loaded. One major advantage VDI provided over the Macintosh was the way multiple devices and contexts were handled. In the Mac such information was stored in memory inside the application. This resulted in serious problems when attempting to make the Mac handle preemptive multitasking, as the drawing layer quick draw needed to have direct memory access into all programs. In GEM VDI however, such information was stored in the device itself, with GDOS creating virtual devices for every context, each window for instance. GEM AES provided the window system, window manager, UI style and other GUI elements widgets. For performance reasons, many of the GUI widgets were actually drawn using character graphics. Compared to the Macintosh, AES provided a rather spartan look and the system shipped with a single monospaced font. AES performs its operations by calling the VDI, but in a more general sense the two parts of GEM were often completely separated in applications. Applications typically called AES commands to set up a new window, with the rest of the application using VDI calls to actually draw into that window. GEM Desktop was an application program that used AES to provide a file manager and launcher, the traditional desktop environment that users had come to expect from the Macintosh. Unlike the Macintosh, the GEM Desktop was based on top of DOS, MS DOS, DOS Plus or Dr. DOS on the PC, GEM DOS on the Atari, and as a result the actual display was cluttered with computer-like items including path names and wildcards. In general GEM was much more geeky than the Mac, but simply running a usable shell on DOS was a huge achievement on its own. Otherwise, GEM has its own advantages over Mac OS such as proportional sliders. Topic. See also Atari TOS Emutos FreeGem OpenGem Gem Character Set Atari Street Character Set <laughs>